Fly travel, getting a little easier this weekend. The U.S. is ending the COVID testing requirements for air travelers entering the country. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares what's behind the decision. Hey there, everybody. The White House COVID-19 response team stressing the requirement could be reinstated if COVID-19 levels climb again. They will reassess in 90 days. But as of now, beginning Sunday, June 12th, testing negative for COVID-19 no longer required for international travelers flying into the U.S. PCR tests were required for all travelers the day prior to boarding the first leg of your international flight from another country to get into the United States. Now, CDC advisors say based on current data and transmission levels, the testing no longer necessary. Part of the reason, new infections right now are not overwhelming the healthcare system. Back in Delta, the Delta surge, 25%, one in four uh, were in the ICU. During Omicron, 17%, today less than 10%. Much of that success, the CDC states, comes from vaccine availability and newer oral therapies such as Paxlovid, which reduces the odds of severe illness from COVID-19 if given within the first 48 hours. But public health specialist Dr. Steve Fagans told me this doesn't mean that COVID-19 is gone. As we, as we move on, um, you know, more and more people are reporting not just, um, you know, getting infected, but, but getting reinfected. That means for now, here's what's suggested. The CDC does still recommend testing before any kind of air travel, even though it's not required. You also may want to find out the quarantine requirements if you start showing symptoms of COVID-19 in your country of origin. That could still influence travel plans. And the CDC also says a well-fitting mask in travel, covering your nose and mouth where you can't be distant from others, can still cut the risk of getting the highly contagious BA4 and 5 variants. These are now spreading worldwide. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonas. Now back to you.